Now, we have a story coming out of San Antonio. Now, you have a thug that was arrested for capital murder for killing another black man. Now, when he's being led to the patrol car, he's worrying about his music. Let's go roll that clip. It's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy. Sir, why did you do it? Listen, I ain't worried about none of this. Y'all need to go get that mixtape on the run one. You did. Y'all need to look, get that camera on me. Yeah, keep going. Fresh as n they come to jail. You feel me? What do you have to say to the victim's family? Man, look. So why did you do it, though? Man. You, what was the argument about? Man, look out. Look. Get that take camera on me. You did. Take a fresh seat. Fresh Yeah, that way. Do you have anything else to say, sir? Go get that mixtape. You feel me? On the wrong one. Do you have anything to say about this alleged crime? What's Hell your nah. What's your Don't worry about no I need to go get that mixtape on the wrong one. This is 23 year old Savon Benjamin Kyle showing no remorse. I ain't worried about that for his alleged role in the murder of 29-year-old Renard Smith. He's charged in the fatal shooting that took place on October 25th, 2016 outside the Right Choice Food Mart on the 8,000 block of Mid Crown on the city's northeast side. According to an arrest affidavit, Kyle shot Smith in the back of the head. It's uh, our understanding that uh, Mr. Kyle allegedly shot the victim over money. After months of investigating, police say witnesses finally came forward with critical information leading to Kyle's arrest. News 4 San Antonio has since learned Kyle has a rap sheet dating back to 2010. He's faced charges of possession of marijuana, assault, unlawful carry of a weapon, theft, and now capital murder. Police are never far from the area where Smith was murdered. People there deal with a lot of crime. We have resources in that uh, patrol in that area. Since the shooting death of Smith, there have been three aggravated assaults, two sexual assaults, six robberies, and four vehicle thefts within a half mile radius of the food mart where we went back today and found the business closed and boarded up, not a soul in sight. As Kyle waits for his day in court, which can lead up to a death penalty or a life in, in prison sentence. Police say the investigation isn't quite over. We're still looking to see if any other individuals may be involved. Now, how this particular thug got caught was that someone called Crime Stoppers gave a tip and they pieced everything together and that's how he got arrested. But he doesn't have a care in the world, do he? He wants you to go get his on the run mixtape and tell him people look at his shoes. And he also was saying, as you heard, that nobody go to jail fly as him. I'm pretty sure there have been people that went there probably more fly than you. I mean, when I saw him just walking, I just shook my head. I mean, you sit there. What do y'all wear a belt for? That's what I want to understand. You're wearing a belt and showing your boxers at the same time. That is the most stupid thing that some of y'all walk around here doing. You look like the epitome of sorry and ain't got nothing going good for yourself. I can't stand that crap. And then just not a care in the world, he killed another man over some money. And, and, and how much money did he actually owe you that you had to put a gun in the back of his head and shoot him? I'm just curious about that. Because I know some of you savages to kill somebody over 10 to $20. It's not like he got $50,000 from you. And even if he did, why in the world are you sitting up there giving him money? Or let's say whatever the reason why he owe you some money ain't that big of a deal. But when you're broke like that, you want to kill somebody over nothing. That's stupid. That is so stupid. And just like we talked about yesterday, this sickness of not valuing our own people is a problem. I hate this sort of thing that's going on. I'm pointing this out because this is the behavior that we have to get rid of. We have to separate ourselves from this thug culture, separate ourselves from the hood rat culture. We have to, because in order for us to grow, in order for us to deal with these things, we got to, because let me tell you something, these white supremacists, they ratchet it up and they coming. They just dealing with other people right now. They coming to, they, when they come around full circle, they coming right back to black people. Trust me on that. Black people, don't you ever get lax and thinking they, oh, they after other groups, they gonna leave you alone. No, no, no. So with that said, we can't be having this thug and hood rat culture because we're going to have to unify together to deal with what's coming upon us very soon. This sort of stuff is just wrong. Anybody that sit here and kill another black person, to me, you are a traitor. To me, you are worse than those white supremacist devils to me because you know good and well what's going on and you killing for crumbs at that. You're not even killing for somebody protecting your family or, or something to that effect. 
This whole thing is stupid. And yes, you charge with capital murder in Texas, they gonna give you the death penalty. That's period. You know good and well that nine times out of 10, you're not gonna have proper representation in court. They will give you a public defender and you're going to just get railroaded. That's really how it is. And yet this guy put himself in that situation, but he up here is promoting a mixtape. And I actually tried to find this mixtape actually. So I could hear what he was talking about. I couldn't even find his mixtape, but yet he's trying to promote that sort of thing. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this. Cause I'm sick and tired of seeing these thugs in our community doing this crap. Share the video, like the commentary, subscribe for more news stories.